The Benin military is working hard to prevent terrorists from Burkina Faso and Niger from escaping and moving into their country. This situation is causing concern for the security forces in Benin as they try to block any potential threats from entering their borders. The military is implementing various strategies to monitor and control the movement of these terrorists to ensure the safety of their citizens. Their efforts are crucial in maintaining peace and stability in the region, and the military is commendable in safeguarding the country from external threats. In recent months, the Republic of Benin has faced an escalating security challenge as terrorist groups fleeing military operations in neighboring Burkina Faso and Niger attempt to infiltrate its borders. The surge in militant activity has prompted Benin's military to scramble into action, implementing a series of measures aimed at preventing the spillover of violence and ensuring national security. The instability in the Sahel region has been a persistent issue, with militant groups exploiting the porous borders and weak state presence to establish strongholds and conduct operations. Burkina Faso and Niger have been particularly hard hit, with both countries engaging in extensive counter-terrorism efforts. As these operations intensify, many militants are seeking refuge in neighboring countries, including Benin. Benin's military has significantly increased its presence along the northern border. This includes deploying additional troops, establishing new checkpoints, and enhancing surveillance capabilities. Advanced technologies, such as drones and satellite imagery, are being utilized to monitor movements and detect potential threats in real time, Benin is collaborating closely with regional partners through initiatives like the G5 Sahel Joint Force. This cooperation involves sharing intelligence, conducting joint patrols, and coordinating military operations to prevent militants from exploiting the borders. The aim is to create a united front against the terrorist threat that transcends national boundaries. Recognizing the importance of community support in counterterrorism efforts, Benin's government has launched initiatives to engage local populations in the border areas. These programs focus on building trust between the military and civilians, encouraging the reporting of suspicious activities and fostering resilience against extremist ideologies. The military leader of the Sahel G5 Joint Force, General Umaru Namada Gazama, recently addressed concerns about the influx of terrorists fleeing to Benin amid ongoing military operations in Burkina Faso and Niger. General Gazama emphasized the collective responsibility of the Sahel countries to prevent the spread of terrorism across borders and highlighted the critical role of regional cooperation in tackling this issue. General Gazama acknowledged that terrorist groups, under pressure from intensified military actions in Burkina Faso and Niger, are seeking refuge in neighboring countries, including Benin. He noted that this movement poses a significant threat not only to Benin, but to the entire region, as it could destabilize countries that have so far been relatively insulated from the worst of the violence. He emphasized the importance of strengthened regional cooperation and intelligence sharing among the Sahel countries, according to General Gazama. Coordinated efforts are crucial to prevent terrorists from exploiting borders. The military swift response highlights the severity of the threat. Analysts say that the displacement of these terrorist groups is a direct result of successful military campaigns in Burkina Faso and Niger. However, the unintended consequence is an increased risk to Benin's security. He called for enhanced collaboration. General Gazama expressed support for Benin's proactive measures to secure its borders and commended the country's commitment to preventing terrorist infiltration. He reiterated that the Sahel G5 Joint Force stands ready to assist Benin with resources, intelligence, and joint operations to bolster its defense capabilities through joint military exercises, shared intelligence, and unified strategies to tackle the cross-border threat. He also highlighted the need for a holistic approach to counterterrorism, one that goes beyond military action. General Gazama advocated for socioeconomic development programs in vulnerable regions to address the root causes of extremism by improving living conditions, education, and economic opportunities. The Sahel countries can reduce the appeal of extremist ideologies among the youth. The general stressed the urgency of the situation. 
warning that any delay in addressing the movement of terrorists could lead to a new wave of violence and instability in the region. He called for immediate and decisive action to curb the threat and maintain the momentum of recent counterterrorism successes. Benin has implemented a multifaceted strategy to counter the increasing threat of terror. Je dirais maîtrisé parce que de temps en temps il y a de petites incursions. I would say control because from time to time there are small incursions with. But overall the situation is under control. There is no panic, no danger in the house, and everything is fine. Normalism, particularly for militants fleeing military operations in neighboring Burkina Faso and Niger. The steps being taken encompass military, intelligence, community, and infrastructural initiatives designed to enhance security and prevent the infiltration of terrorist groups. Benin has significantly boosted its military presence along the northern border with Burkina Faso and Niger. Additional troops have been deployed to patrol the area, and new checkpoints have been established to monitor and control movement. Benin is investing in infrastructure development in the northern regions, including building new roads and communication networks. We are determined once again not to cede any square centimeter of the territory, and we are determined that the populations continue freely to go about their business and that everything is serene. Et nous sommes déterminés à ce que les populations continuent librement à vaquer à leurs occupations et que tout soit serein sur les terrains. Improved infrastructure facilitates rapid deployment and response by security forces dot to address the root causes of extremism. Benin is implementing socio-economic programs aimed at improving living conditions, education, and employment opportunities in vulnerable regions. These efforts help reduce the appeal of extremist ideologies. Benin is undertaking a comprehensive approach to protect its citizens from the threat of terrorism, particularly in light of the increased militant activity due to the instability in neighboring Burkina Faso and Niger. Border security forces have been instructed to increase surveillance operations along the northern borders. The government has ordered the establishment of additional checkpoints and regular patrols along the border regions. These measures aim to prevent unauthorized crossings and intercept potential terrorists attempting to enter Benin. Security personnel are directed to enhance intelligence gathering efforts by collaborating with local communities and international partners. Information sharing is crucial to identifying and mitigating threats before they materialize. Border security forces are encouraged to work closely with local communities to build trust and encourage residents to report any suspicious activities. Community engagement is vital in creating a supportive network that aids in early detection and prevention of terror.